go into options, then controls to set up your bindings. It's a driving sim, so we select the vehicle. We start with the throttle. Click the plus sign, then push your pedal. A sign window will appear with an access graph. You'll see the access graph move when pressing the pedal. You will need to tick the invert box. Repeat the process for your brake and clutch if you have one. As you bind, hit apply. Next, add shift up and shift down. And if you have a H-pattern shifter, do a similar process. Moving the stick into positions one to six. And now for the steering. Select the axis and tick mouse steering, not the left and right. That never worked for me, maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments. So we turn a wheel left and right, which will show on the graph and then set linearity to one. Next into gameplay for some realistic driving settings. On the driver aids, set ABS mode to realistic only. Gearbox behavior also to realistic. Then tick clutch and throttle assistance for manual transmission. This will give a smoother gear shift. Select the access point to open the config. First, make sure the filter is set to wheel direct and steering lock type is one reaches full lock. Next, the access graph inverted. Now, depending on your wheel, you may need this ticked. We set linearity to one, which reduces the vibration at idle speeds. And I have my dead zones at zeros, yours may vary. Make sure the force feedback is enabled. Inverted is your wheel preference. Now strength and smoothing is your choice. For me, I'm not into risk braking force feedback. We set a 150 for a baseline. Testing later will help you decide those numbers. Next, tick soft lock to match the wheel rotation of the car. And then tick reduce strength when parked. Side accelerated force feedback. I'm at 5%. This will give you a bit more force when turning. The update rate limit is automatic and type is fast default. Also, we have response curve ticked. Then hit apply. This should give you a good baseline to force feedback.